All right, what's going on, Tommy? Go boom boom finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akelanga Flora 2. So, yeah, for today we are gonna be playing with the Demolitionist with the new freaking weapon called the Tommy Boom. I'm just gonna be explaining what I personally think about it and what its main use is. And the only use I could find for the weapon was nooks. That's pretty much it. I mean, the damage it does, it's mediocre. It shoots slow, doesn't even kill trash reliably unless you, you know, headshot them if you have armor piercing rounds on. I feel like it's better played with, you know, bomb and deer and high impact rounds, that's what usual demolitionist players are gonna pick. But I do like my extra rounds in shock trooper fam. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna play the first wave with, you know, my skills and I'm just gonna be playing with bomb and deer and high impact rounds. I'm also gonna enable cheats so I can get it faster. So yeah, let go. So the Tommy Boom, right off the bat, it has a little bit of a problem. 7 kilograms. If you just buy it and don't upgrade it at all, yep, you can't even have it with the RPG. So the only buff I would give this weapon is reduce, you know, the 7 to a 6. Because currently it is a new weapon. But it's just like way way worse than the Kaboom stick. So yeah, Tommy Boom, it is gonna be a tier 2 weapon, which means you can upgrade it 3 times. But is it worth? In my personal opinion, no. Because if you do decide to upgrade it to full, yep, I mean, well, what are you gonna have? C4? HX? Fam? The fuck? So yeah, don't upgrade this weapon at all, because it's pretty much just like a nuke making machine. I mean, you can pair it with, you know, the Blunderbuss, Sucker 6, Gravity Imploder, Husk Cannon, Kaboom Stick even. It's just like a backup, but I mean, why would you have this backup if you can have the Kaboom Stick? I mean, it just doesn't make much sense. So yeah, this is the only change I would give this weapon. Instead of 7, give it a 6. And now let's see what this weapon is all about. But yeah, we're also gonna be playing today on Pit Halloween, because I already got bored of the new map. I mean, for some reason, I just don't like, you know, indoor maps. They're just too freaking boring. I mean, look at this weapon. Just doesn't even kill a freaking werewolf. But it does nukes, though. This is the only real purpose. But yeah, currently, I do have... You know, these two skills, so I'm just gonna change for the next round. So hopefully we're gonna be doing a little bit more damage. I mean, look at this. Incursion dude, you don't even kill him if you don't headshot him. And I mean, doing like consistent headshots with this thing, it's not hard. But, yeah, I don't know, man. It's literally just like made for Giga Trash, which is, you know, clots, cysts, and for nukes. That's pretty much it. Okay, werewolf, you are gonna get destroyed. Well, how didn't you- No, right, man. Apparently, I just, like, missed his fireaking head. Oh, bro, yeah, I just don't feel this weapon, man. It is for, you know, the demo, which is one of my favorite perks. But, but I just don't like it, man. It's just so bad. If they change the kilograms to, you know, 6, yeah, I would probably have it with the RPG for from time to time. But even then, sacrificing the Kaboom stick, it's just... Nah, man. Okay, now we have bomb and deer and high impact rounds. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy now. I'm just gonna fully upgrade it for research purposes after this wave. Oh, he dar. Yep, I mean, it is a little bit better now. But at the end of the day, it's... It's no kaboom stick, man. I mean, that's like the direct compare. Oh, but I mean this, though. I mean, if I could actually extend slow motion with it, it would be a little bit better. Oh, how do I need to reload again? Oh, that's right, I don't have... Will have my reload speed anymore. Need to get used to that now. Okay, freaking stalkers. But yeah, I just don't know. It's just bad. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments what you're gonna be doing with this weapon. Are you even gonna use it? Are you just gonna scrap it? Or are you just gonna use it from time to time for the memes? Oh, bro. Yep, can't even kill the African Usk. That's just depressing. If they added a little bit more ammunition to it so you don't have to like reload all that often, that would be better, I guess. Okay, where are the stalkers coming from? Yeah, boy. What? Ooh. Oh my god, the nukes. The nuke potential is just so, so good. I mean, if the demo didn't have nukes, or if the nukes got nerfed, if this weapon would be... As forgettable as... Wait, well, what's a weapon that's forgettable? Probably... The MP7. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I just don't feel powerful with this weapon, man. If I had the Kaboom stick, yeah, things would be dead six times over. There is still hope for this weapon. 
when I upgrade it, is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? I guess we shall see. But I mean, like I said, if you upgrade it to full, you just can't have anything. I mean, you can have C4, I guess. Okay, let's see the Tommy boom in action when it's fully upgraded. Okay, is it gonna one shot a gore fast? Not really. Oh, bro. Dude, if only it had like the actual rate of fire of the Tommy gun, I mean that would just be nuke central fam. So this being a damn weapon, it should theoretically kill flesh bones really fast. I mean it should. Yes, we shall see. I mean even though this is like fully upgrade, I don't really see much power in it. I mean look at that. With the kaboom stick, I could have just like, you know, backfired myself and just like shoot him again and he would be dead. But with this thing, you do need to get them at range, otherwise just good freaking luck. Oh yo, here we go. With the fucking nukes. Nice. So yeah, again, final opinions on this weapon. If you use the damage skills and fully upgrade this thing, it is viable. Here and there, you know, for trash and nukes. But if you don't upgrade it to full, this thing's just mediocre at best, man. I mean, you do have to do, like, constant headshots with it to be effective. And the ammunition it has in the magazine, it is quite depressing, only 24. So that means you're gonna be reloading quite, quite often. Okay, quick little cheeky heal, here we go. He's gonna wipe the floor with you guys. Oh, bro. Yep, just like playing a SWAT, but not actually playing a SWAT. Yeah, the nukes. I just love the nukes, man. Just can't go wrong at all. Which he... Nope, he's just stunned. Okay, this is wave 3 out of 4, so... We could... See the full potential at wave 4. And for the boss, this weapon's gonna be... Probably depressing to all hell. Okay, Scrooky Scrook, let's see what it does to you. Yeah, not much. But yeah, just in case you're wondering, yep, the alt fire, yeah, it's just a single fire. You can just, like, click it if you want. Not sure why you would ever need that if you can just, like, click it in... Will yeah, rapid fire. But sure. Yeah, boy. So yeah, you guys can let me know what you guys think about the Tommy Boom. For me personally, it's just underwhelming. I mean, the base kilograms are pretty much the only thing I would change. Because the nuke potential is good enough by itself, but you just can't pair this weapon with anything good. And by anything good, yeah, just the RPG, pretty much. Okay, here we go. Two freaking quarter pounds. Let's see how much it takes. It's not bad, honestly. I mean, on multiplayer, six-player, how on earth, yeah, that would be just depressing to shoot them, but... You do have other teammates that that are gonna shoot the core pawns as well, though. But if you just have the RPG and the Kaboom stick, yep, it would be pretty easy. Boy. Yo. But yeah, you do need to do headshots, like, pretty much consistently, if you want to kill anything fast. Oh, we got Giga, freaking Flashbone. Let's go and stun them and just, like, destroy him. Never mind. Man's already raged, but he do be dead. Oh, bro, I just feel, like, so limited playing with this weapon, man. Just can't, like, do any movement or anything. Can just, like, stand, reload for ages. And just like shoot for a very long time. I mean, I do have to get back into the whole feel of killing floor and stuff like that, so that might account for yeah some bad gameplay. But to be honest, yeah, I don't think I'm doing all that half bad. I mean, I'm still surviving and killing them. Oh, it's another fleshy punt. But how did that freaking nade miss? I mean, this map is also helping a lot because it's just like a flat freaking map. You can just like see things from a mile away. Like, I just, like, saw a shadow from behind my ass, so that was just something. Bro. Dude, I'm just wondering, fragmentation rounds could actually be the way to go. Mad Bomber, nah. If you use Mad Bomber with the Tommy Boom, yeah, I don't think you know what the hell this weapon's all about then. I mean, why would you shoot faster in slow motion with a weapon that just doesn't even do any damage? But yeah, do also keep in mind, it is fully upgraded on solo, and it's barely killing the trash. So yeah, take of that, what you will. Oh, I just love the new potential, man. So, so good. Uh-huh. Well, how didn't you get nuked? 
Okay, Skrook is Skrook. Let's see what you are all about. Not much. Easy. So yeah, like any other weapon in Killing Floor 2, it just works if you know how to play the game. But if you compare it to the Kaboom stick, it's just bad. Like, really bad. Well then, time for the boss. Let's see what the Tommy Boom is gonna do. I'm just like hoping for an Abomination King Fleshbound you and Patriarch as well. I just don't want to fight the Matriarch. Oh, poor. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Because I can just like shoot him from a mile away. Man's like slow. Doesn't really do any damage. No, oh, and there he is. My man. Get over here. Hey, it's not even doing like much damage to him. I mean, I should probably just like headshot him a little bit more consistently here. Oh, he's gaining. He do be gaining. And I need to reload for a very long ass freaking time. Oh, he's on the floor. Did you move? Easy freaking clappage. I just need to like destroy his entire armor set. And he should be kaput. Bro, I just hate this like long ass reload, man. Yes. What's this weapon? I don't like it at all. Please boof. I mean, for bosses, if you're playing solo, yeah, there's not gonna be much... Well, yeah, slow motion going on. I mean, if I kill this dude, there might be some slow motion, but... The probabilities are, uh, yeah, quite low. Slow motion, please. I'm just, like, running out of ammo as well as so it's just... Oh, po! Yep, get nuked. Yeah, and he just flew. Okay, just shoot him a little bit more from a distance. He is getting poisoned and destroyed all at the same time. And my ammo is... Pretty much over with. So yeah, this weapon, ju just for nukes. Just like a backup weapon, so please make it 6 kilograms. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a forgotten weapon. I don't even know why they even, you know, made it in the first place, because the demo didn't need a weapon like this. But I mean, HRGs, right? They can literally make anything out of them. Abomination, slowly but surely, just coming closer, but I don't know what he's doing with that. Bro, I, j I just don't know. It's just so bad. Slow motion, please. Oh, here we go. Here we freaking go. I think I nuked him once. But he just, like, stepped in all my other nukes. Bruh. Okay, two, two more. Yep, he didn't die. So C4, it is. So yeah, final opinion on the Tommy Boom. It's just bad. If you get it in slow motion, yeah, it's pretty good for nukes. But other than that, nah, man. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.